Hi, this is Ian Cole with an IEQA tech tip on formaldehyde and flooring. Formaldehyde is a naturally occurring organic gas that's also derived from industrial production. Very recently, there's been major interest in formaldehyde due to emissions in some flooring products. Formaldehyde has both short-term and long-term effects on human health. It's listed as a known carcinogen by the World Health Organization. In indoor environments, formaldehyde can be off-gassed from building materials. It's used in the production of paper, particle board, plywood, oriented strand board, and medium density fiber board, to name a few. It can also be found in several other products such as paints, insulation, and cigarette smoke, but in this video, I'll focus on formaldehyde in flooring. Formaldehyde is typically found in wood flooring as a resin. Laminate flooring commonly has a fiberboard core made from mixing ground wood with that formaldehyde resin. As of March 2015, the EPA is still developing a final rule under the Formaldehyde Standards for Composite Wood Products Act, which has a projected published date of September 2015. The EPA was supposed to have its final rule in place by January 1, 2013. In the absence of federal legislation, many reference the State of California's standard. The California Air Resources Board, or CARB, has set limits for medium density fiber board and hardwood plywood products. They recently made the standards more stringent, so the new levels are often referred to as CARB Phase 2. The CARB Phase 2 requirement is for medium density fiber board emissions not to exceed 0.11 parts per million, or in other words, 110 parts per billion. The California Air Resources Board has a separate guideline for formaldehyde levels found in the general indoor air of residential buildings. It states, quote, it is highly desirable that residential levels remain well below 27 parts per billion to avoid acute effects. As for chronic effects, there's no level of exposure below which the risk of developing cancer is zero. The next time you purchase wood products, beyond asking for CARB Phase two compliance, you should also consider having formaldehyde testing of the indoor air after the installation. If you're concerned with formaldehyde levels in your home and want an indoor air professional to help, go to the IAQA website and click the Find an IAQA Pro button.